You are listening to GHP Radio, powered by iTrackRadio.com, your independent music source. Fresh, new music, right here on the all-new GHP Radio, your new independent music source. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sitting in this place with a smile on my face, knowing you are in my spirit, makes my world dance. Where would I be without you? I can't imagine. So glad I took a chance. Me and life. Got my head bumping to a crazy beat I'm sipping my mojito, trying to let it go But you know, you know, you know. my heart is just no, no, no My whole universe changed the day I met you You opened up my soul, you freed my heart, yeah You gave me courage a brand new start It was no accident Me meeting you Now what should I do? Me and mine yeah. Oh so sweet You got my head Popping to a crazy beat I'm sipping my mojito Trying to let it go But you know You know My heart
right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this edition of the Indie Live Spot. Hope you all are out there doing very well this weekend, and uh, hope you everything is going well with you. Uh, welcome to the show because we have a great guest today, our brother, Mr. J.C. Smith. Got some new music. We're excited about having him on today. So welcome, man. Hey, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Hey, welcome. How's it going? <laughs> It's good to be here, man. Good to see all of y'all. Yeah. Good to see you again, JC. See you. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, fill us in, man. What you been doing, brother? Right. Oh, man. Well, you know, it's me, it's, I'm in the science lab. You know, that's you know, that's what you see around me today. That's that's where I'm, I'm at. And, uh, you know, been really, really, you know, kicking back and, and working on this new album and finally got it ready. Oh, and congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. Congratulations. Y'all let them know that ain't no AI studio. That's a real actual studio. Yeah, that's a real studio <laughs> back there. Right? It, ain't, it ain't no AI. <laughs> that's that's right. AI. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's where the spaceship is located. Yeah, everything's live. Even the piano. Beautiful. That's the real, real deal, I'm man. right now. <laughs> State of the art. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I think I, I think CTK was talking about the relationship I have with Sweetwater. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, they, they, got a, they got a parking space in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> got, my, got my own parking space in front. When, when, when he gets out the car and goes through the door, Gary, there's a guy with a silver tray. <laughs> Here's your massage chair. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> said he got the VIP, don't he? <laughs> oh, man. Instead of throwing right. flowers, he's throwing candy pieces out there. <laughs> oh, room. man. Yeah, that, that's what got him was the candy. candy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, they they built this studio for me. Uh, oh, very oh nice. It's, wow. it's it's so much RAM in this computer back here. It's this big old thing. It's uh, they um they they hooked me up back when I was making my first album, Smooth Nights, mm -hmm. because I, I had just a regular regular uh computer and it was just choking on all the stuff I was doing. So okay. they built me something that can handle anything. So Yeah. Hey, they're good that's what it is, real deal. You know, I know about them because they built my studio as well. So yeah. you're right, and they take care of you. They really yeah. do. That's awesome. Oh, cool. You got yours is built by uh, uh, Sweetwater too, CTK? Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, yes, wow. indeed. Nice. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I think yeah, they're one of the top of the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they build me something. I can go you no know, 50 tracks if I want to, 50 tracks deep, wow. and it don't even choke on it. Yeah, it that's going. right. See, that's nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you got to watch that, Gary, because sometimes the equipment that you have, mm -hmm. it'll be the equivalent of a Volkswagen Beetle trying to pull an 18 <laughs> <laughs> No, really. Yeah. That's, that's, that's right. I'm bringing it's it down. down. Yeah. yeah, for real. Yeah, you're yeah. right. I'm bringing it down in terms you can understand, you know, that yeah. other, other people can understand. Mm -hmm. So you got to have something that kicks, you know, and like oh, nothing but true. that dedicated memory and stuff. But you know. Oh, yeah, that's you know. true. That is definitely true. Yeah, that's yeah. real. Yeah. Can they see us out there, Gary? I can't. I don't see us on live. You know? Yeah, I see us. Mm -hmm. Do you? Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, just making sure. Sorry, guys. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I got a delay out here. You know, I'm in uh, Oklahoma. Yeah, we, yeah, we good. We good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. yeah. Make sure they see JC lovely faces. CTK. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah. So, man. So, you got this new project, man. You got a lot of new music on there, and you got some yeah. uh, collaborations on there as well, and. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, man, tell us a little bit about it because uh, you know I know we, today we're gonna get to let some people hear a little, yeah, some of it. But, uh, but yeah, it's uh, the the album is is called the Cool and the Smooth. It's that nickname that's kind of <laughs> kind of is is not what we what what CTK probably thought. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? <laughs> oh, man. You know, it, the smooth and the, the cool and the smooth. Basically, <laughs> what it what it was is I have some there's some tracks are, are I have more than one version of that track on the album. Mm -hmm. I have a like a cool mix uh, that's maybe R and B, and then I have a smooth mix that's that's for the jazz audience. So I have about three of those tracks on the album. You know, because a lot of times you put out things that you know that that's good for the, for the jazz audience to go to the jazz radio stations. But the R&B radio stations, they won't quite play them because, you know, that's, they don't fit their gener you know, their audience. So right. I, had to, I, I, I thought about that this time and I made some things that 
when I when I release that single, his it's going to both places. I got the yeah, you, got the you, you got, you going. Pay yeah, more than uh, one picture. That's a, that's a, that's right. You got to pay more than one picture, JC. So yeah, it's man. good that uh, you stretch out and do it different genres and and cover everything because you're you're a multi musician. You're a multi right. multi instrumentalist. So being that, of course, you should be multi musical as well. So that only makes sense that that would happen. But I yeah. am not surprised at all. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's and that's that's the, hence the uh, the title of the album. It's cool and it's smooth. Um, it basically it the album tells a story. Mm-hmm. It's basically uh, the story of a, 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 a couple first meeting. That's that comes with the call the the first track on the album called Calling You, and then it, it continues through the album. Uh, ride with me. The second track, you know, we're going on that ride. The third track is Take Take You Away. We're going on that trip. And then you know uh, I fall in love. That's that's one that I did two versions of. I got a vocal version, uh, R&B style, and I got a collaboration with Joy Spencer for the uh, I fall in love uh, smooth saxophone mix. So oh yeah, yeah, uh, love some Joyce. We heard that tonight. So Joyce Joyce did that. And uh, she did a very good job on it. Mm-hmm. Sounds very well. It does and, sound good. And you did yeah. you, you did the vocals on it, right? Yeah, I did all the vocals, everything, all the music, mm-hmm. and, the, and the vocals. I did it all. Good um, job, good job. Uh, stuff Great for, job. Stuff for whoever came in and played saxophone for me. Mm-hmm. I got, I got okay. one other, one other collab, uh, waiting for you. That's that's like the next storyline in in the album. Mm-hmm. That was uh, featuring Otley Reed. He oh. did the saxophone for me on that. So that's we got good. we got a kind of good dueling solo saxophone versus guitar solo at the end. Yeah, it, it worked out very well. Excellent. Awesome. Very nice. Very nice. So would you say yeah. your audience is like mostly R and B or you <clears> throughout <throat> the years? Or just kind of R and B jazz and I feel like people that listen to R and B listen to jazz too. Like they go I go back and forth. I don't mm-hmm. know about everybody else. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, know? it's 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 well, you back and forth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well it's you know, I my audience is is kinda I call myself an accidental minor star because <laughs> I, 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 it was accidental. I, I, I recorded that, that album, Smooth Nights, uh, during the pandemic, and uh, it caught a lot of attention worldwide. I, I had no idea it would blow up like it did. I, I had people like CTK, CTK sending me messages. Hey, CTK, like if CTK was like, he knew me my whole life. I'm like, <laughs> He said he showed me his, you know, sent me his photos and his his, his promos and his, on his album. I saw his album was like number one, and I was man, he, man, he's really good. That, that album sounds, man. I'm talking to people like this, so you know, I I was it, it caught me by surprise. I know I didn't I didn't not, I had no idea that that album was blowing up like it was. Awesome. So I guess my audience would be jazz. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm probably more R and B. I can I can do jazz, but you know, I'm I'm an R and B funk guy. But I think you're all that I'm not, really. Yeah, I'm so, not, yeah. I don't I don't like to put anybody in the box. And yeah, you yeah, definitely yeah. don't yeah. fit in that box. You know, so I don't think that's fair to say yeah. that you, you might now jazz smooth jazz is scared to get your foot in the door, then you can do what you mm-hmm. Oh. Right. So oh, yeah. that part that part you succeeded and it's done. Now now you can do you. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, oh, right. Yeah. Really yeah. Say, oh, yeah, you you'll see that in this album. I did, you know. I I still I still got the jazz part because I really fell in love with doing that. Mm-hmm. It, right. it's, it 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 really helps you to become the best musician that you can be. And um, of course, I got to do. I was encouraged. Hey, you need to do more vocals. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the person out there knows who she is. <laughs> She's like, you need to do more vocals. So I, I, I put a, I put more vocals in this album and did more R and B. So I even have a uh, Southern Soul track mm-hmm. on this album called uh, mm-hmm. "Back Down Home." It's, mm-hmm. a, it's a tribute to my, my hometown of Pittsburgh, Texas. Yeah. Um, and on the East mm-hmm. Texas area, so uh, that that's on there as well. Back home. Back down home is the down home blues type song. Oh, roots, uh-huh. that's right. Like it. Yeah, back to my roots. <laughs> now you know if you're ever looking for like more background singers and stuff, you know Char. <laughs> yeah, I heard her. Char, <laughs> Char, 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 
Y'all you know, be breaking it down. Y'all don't. Y'all don't know. <laughs> you know you might have to hit that one time, bro. And only one time. You know, one you know, today. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't know, audience. That CTK and JC they had a song going. Yeah, they were doing we some stuff there. <laughs> and it's all about Gary's hair. I know. <laughs> I know. CTK's obsessed with my hair. Oh. I, I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> and he got the long locks. Like I'm trying to get ready. Yet. <laughs> oh, Charles got, yeah. got the part. If y'all, uh, if y'all look cool, maybe JC can get her to do it for us later. But anyway, JC. Uh, anyway, uh, anyway, JC, brother. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you here. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that you know, if you do not have a sponsorship by Sweetwater Audio by now, <laughs> you damn sure is better yeah oh man your, your setup is awesome yeah your setup is awesome. Well, really I, is. I, it's been interesting child watch him build it because i seem to get one piece at a time boom, mm, of boom, course it's expensive boom. right sure. okay okay after this after the third fourth base i'm like okay mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. then the third keyboard I'm like oh okay. <laughs> boom boom you get another keyboard oh, oh. Uh -huh. that's as that's as many songs as Gary puts out, <laughs> you know Gary puts the one out every hour. They see buy something every month. Nice. They got some nice Thank stuff you. too. I love it. I love oh, it. Oh man, you know, yeah, man. I wish you know the UPS man be like, he got to carry all the heavy stuff on. Be like, damn, this address again. <laughs> <laughs> like, please don't knock my, don't drop. You my don't, phone. you don't know how true that is, man. <laughs> That's why I said yeah. it. If there is, they ship with FedEx. No. <laughs> the FedEx guys know me now. Hey, he got, uh -huh. he got FedEx taking him out to dinner, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, man. Really but you know, you know, JC, and I know you probably feel this, but, um, but you know, the environment that you, that you in, uh, and the things, you know, around you in your studio, I'm sure it, it's very inspiring too, to you as well. You know what I mean? Yes. So yes, yes, it is. Okay. Um, I can, in any any kind of any kind of tone that comes to my head, any kind of rhythm, I'm I'm able to do it, and and, mm -hmm. and I'm able to record it, and that's something that a lot of independent artists and a lot of multi instrumentalists, especially, I I know they don't have access to, so I, I feel kind of blessed in that. Yeah, that's I'm, a gift. I'm able, yeah, I'm I'm able to 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 put down the sound that I can and have it be the quality that it is. That's that's really tough. And it, if guys are trying to do that on their own, uh, out in a studio environment, it would cost a lot of money. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, it, and, and being able to do it myself and have the, the right gear to do it and make it sound right, it uh, it's a blessing. So I, I do see that and I, I, I appreciate it every day. That's how you do it, brother. That's how you yeah. do it. If you have it, you better use it. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Now, for those who don't know, uh, JC, uh, from uh, what what's your background as far as like what got you uh, started into this 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 wonderful uh, music? All right, because, I um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, because I was gonna say just you know people probably would probably be interested in hearing something like that you know you're you know what really got you and how'd you get into it i'm sure there's some uh young cats out there probably uh interested in the, getting into the same thing you know like you know and everything but uh but yeah just you know and then at the same time we just in, interested in what what inspired you yeah and what got well you here, here's that. here's where you know i got started <clears throat> in music uh at an early age um basically my 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 parents bought me uh bought me a drum little drum set uh when i was what seven or eight and um uh, from there I, I learned drums and then uh they bought me a uh a lead guitar uh, a les paul when Ooh. i was 12. nice so they they, they bought me a, a top of the line guitar when i was 12. Yeah. and i learned how to play play that and i mainly played in church um coming up mm -hmm. as a kid you would there, our church group would go out and we would play and like we had this thing called the East Texas Yamari. It still goes on today. East Texas Yamari. Hmm. Um, 
if anybody out there remember a little kid i you know look like he's 12 years old out playing with a choir on a street corner that was me okay. i was a little kid that was playing that guitar uh, on, on, the, on the street corner at, at Yamboree. so um and then i was in the boys choir at that time as well uh pittsburgh camp county boys choir uh, i was recruited for that by uh by, by a man named tom franks and uh he 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 recruited me as an alto because as a child, I had a really, really deep voice. It it didn't go very deep as I grew older. <laughs> Actually, I started singing higher as I grew older. But as as a young young teenager, I was no before I was a teenager, I was a, a deep alto. So I was recruited for for that, and I was in that from uh, up until middle school, like eighth grade. And you know, then the athletics and stuff like that got in got in the mix <laughs> and schoolwork. But um, I, I just stayed playing playing instruments throughout my uh, uh, high school, and then when I joined the military, I was I was playing in the uh, the the Air Force uh, uh, gospel choirs for all the, for the different bases that I was that I was stationed with uh, up in Elmendorf, Alaska, and then at Andrews Air Force Base, I was their uh, bass guitar player and musician and choir director, depending on whatever they wanted me to do or whatever I needed to do for that week. Uh, and and getting as far as recording, I started recording, probably producing uh, for my brother's a friend of mine, like Craig Mike, uh, Craig Stern, uh, my brother Tyrone. Uh, he, he they had a group called uh, Dope Writers Incorporated, Dope Writers Incorporated, DWI. They were hip hop, so I was I was producing stuff for them. Uh, they were kind of like you know underground legends back in the day, back in the early 2000s. Yeah. So I I. Um, uh, and as far as you know, anybody want to get into it? How I did it? It's um, it, it's I, I, I would say is I'm a, I'm a story that could that could help you say don't ever give up. Yeah. Because as I as I got older, you know I I kind of stepped back from it, and you know raising my children, they were in athlete athletics, they were going to college, mm -hmm. being a college athletes, mm -hmm. and I basically you know kind of stood back until. I had free time. They were they were graduating, and right. then a friend of mine, Craig, he came and said, "Hey, you need to get back in the game. You got something to offer." Mm -hmm. So I did that. Mm -hmm. And pandemic, everything shut down. They gave me an opportunity to do that. I recorded the album, uh, Smooth Nights, during the pandemic. Yeah. And when I released that, it was you know, that's the rest of the story. It just mm -hmm. blew up. And here I am today. All right, that's awesome. See, but not only is your music is your music good, too. You're you're a very likable person. Oh, thank you, man. You're a very okay, personal. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, yeah, but you're, yeah. I mean, you're definitely easy approachable. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, and you got to have that too when you, when, as, a, as a musician. You got to be approachable. You got to be a personable person. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just love the stuff that you do, man. And uh, and uh, I enjoy our interactions and uh, <laughs> little sure. off, off camera shenanigans. And it's all good. <laughs> yeah, and it, it's, it's good. It's good to have people you know that support you as well. I think the first person to really to recognize me is probably is, she's in the chat today. Uh, oh. uh, Colleen, Colleen Keithley. Colleen, yeah. Colleen. She, yeah. she discovered yeah. me, man. Oh. She <laughs> supports us all. Yeah, she, she found she, me. <laughs> yeah, she she discovered me and she hooked me up with Keith, the jazz man. Yeah, Keith yeah. Gilchrist, and Keith yeah. has been been you know supporting me, you know, since the beginning, mm -hmm. and uh, we continue the relationship today. So it, you know them too. They were the really beginning of it all, yeah. and you know it, it spreads out from there. You, you, you're right. You got to be nice and kind to everyone, um, and you can't take sides on different things. Like you know, you have certain musicians, certain that uh, you know, certain artists. Mm -hmm. They might have a clash with another artist or another radio station. You can't pick a side. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, form your own relations, mm -hmm. make relationships, and. Yeah. You know, be nice to everyone yeah. and, and appreciate every everyone that supports you and your music. Yeah. Never know who you're going to see again. That's know? right. You, <laughs> <for real. laughs> Same people. you don't want bad vibe. You yeah. Know? yeah. You don't want to burn bad no bridges or nothing. Like sure, that. before yeah. they get started. <laughs> <laughs> for real. <laughs> so it, it, yeah. that's that's just been some of the things I learned. You, you be likable and be approachable and uh, respect everyone's talent and, uh, you know, offer what you can give. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what would you say uh, would be uh, 
your most difficult song on this album to do. The more the more painstakingly uh, stumping around the corner type of <laughs> things. You know what I'm talking about. The, there's always one song that I've that really just just digs in you like, dang, I can't, I can't uh, quite finish I, this I, for I, a while. You know, you know the the toughest song was the collaboration with Joyce. <laughs> 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 it, it was it wasn't you know getting the music it was you know making sure that you know i i i know what i sound I, what i want to i want to hear mm -hmm. but yeah. i gotta make sure she hears what she wants to hear mm -hmm. so that that's stuff when you have an artist that's at that level you know mm -hmm. it's a challenge to you know you might think something's good and then you have to rethink so whoa she ain't gonna like what i just did <laughs> take that back out of there you know so um and that was a challenge the hardest one to record, I'm probably going to say is, uh, I don't know if I sent it to you, uh, but it is one track on the call, Your Light. Um, and it has, phew, I use probably every instrument in the book on that that particular track. Hmm. So, yeah, that's, that's probably my toughest one. So would you, you say you change the arrangement? Oh, I'm sorry, CTK. You have no, 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 you go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I said, did you have to change the arrangement a lot when that song you did with Joyce, or did you guys? Just... Uh, no, uh, you know basically, it? basically, what what she did, she took, she took my my original one I recorded with the vo vocals, mm -hmm. and we basically replaced my lead vocals with her saxophone. It was mm -hmm. everything that she, you know, in her own interpretation, and uh, it it basically just she just did a very good job with. And that mo most of the most of the time, me going back and, and listening to it and remixing it is because I just knew I had to get it right. <laughs> you know, I did, I did right. not want to mess of course. it up. So. <laughs> so it's she did a very very good job, and I'm very proud of that that particular record. Nice. Well, I'm very proud of both of you. How about that? Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Extremely sure, proud. Sure you like that? Yeah. Well, sure. That's that's my sack sister right there, man. Yeah, she, wow. she she takes it serious and she does her thing. Oh yeah. Saxo funk. <laughs> Y'all laughing, but that's my jam. <laughs> yeah, that is a jam, man. Yeah. She knows that's my jam. <laughs> right. All right, all right. Well, you know, with that said, I think what we should do, we should go ahead and just play that track now. Um Yeah. So people can hear what we were talking about and and, uh, and everything. So uh, everybody, if you just tuned in, we are talking to J.C. Smith, and uh, he's got a great, great, great new CD out with some great music, and uh, I believe uh, the actual title of your, your project is uh, The Cool and the Smooth, right? The Cool and the Smooth. The Cool and the, the, smooth. Cool and the smooth. Like it, man. With smooth. <laughs> <laughs> so... So anyway, we're going to go ahead and let you hear the uh, collaboration with Miss Joyce Spencer. It's called I Fall in Love. And uh, so it is nice, too. I, I really enjoyed it. And, uh, and I was really impressed with uh, uh, with you, JC, as far as you, your vocal. vocal. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was like, oh, okay, Thank man, you. brother singing and everything. So go ahead and do your thing, man. Shoot. All right. <laughs> So anyway, everybody, y'all check it out. We'll be right back. Y'all keep it locked right here on the Indie Live Spot.
Try to hold my own. <laughs> it was on and popping, brother. I love it. I love yeah. it. Appreciate that. Appreciate you. So you had, you had, you had. Uh, J, I mean, uh, CTK swinging with the with the light on. Light <laughs> in the on. Color. Light on. <laughs> oh man! You know that that part, the breakdown part. I did get that came straight from the church. There was, there, was, there was a church breakdown, so that, that, that's to put your hands out, wait yeah, side to side. There you go. Exactly what that was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Go get the wife and, and dance a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like that, though. You know, we're still we're still fresh off our anniversary, so that still fits in. Oh, oh that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, y'all need that's that right. love. Um, right, right. Yeah. Listen to his love album. Mm. How y'all oh, started, yeah. and then you said it goes all the way to... Does it go to marriage or just love? It's, it kind of goes to love and just keeps blooming. Just it, it, uh, it's gonna, it, it's gonna have to be continued on the sequel. Got it. Cause, <laughs> Ooh, I, cause I, I got, cause I got up to what twelve tracks. This album was gonna be like sixteen tracks deep, mm. and I said, right. Nah, let's let's save something <laughs> for the cut sequel. It, cut it, and, and that's the so same. it, it it's, it's it's a little bit of a, uh, a cliffhanger on it, you know. Uh, right. Yeah, we'll get we get to the track waiting for you, and it, that's the cliffhanger. Yeah. So, oh, I, I like I like the cliffhanger. I like that. I like it. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be continued. Tell a story. I like how you did that though. That's actually really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah they don't. To, put a theme to the album. Mm-hmm. Well, well, yeah. Speaking of theme, JC, what do you do? Uh, like, um, uh, what kind of mood do you get yourself in for a, a battle or a love song like that? Change your lighting. Do you have the wife sit across from you in the studio? <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm, I'm just curious. I mean, oh, like, oh, man. Well, when, when I'm like, I, here's a story behind I Fall in Love. You gave me a chance to tell this one. Now, I, I was, you know, I told you I'm, I was I was an army funk guy. So everything that I had it was just bumping. You know, I'm get I'm doing I'm doing club club bangers. I'm just I'm getting people to go to get on the floor. So I'm I'm I'm. You know, mom, my mom's proud of me. She was, she was proud. She's passed away, but she was proud of everything I did. So I would let her hear everything, every track, and she sit there and listen. And then finally, she she just looked at me and said, "Son, do you write any love songs?" <laughs> and I and I, I looked at I looked at her. And I was like, mm, that's a good question. And I looked at all my files. I didn't have a single love song in there. Not a single one. Everyone was club bangers. So I wrote that. You told me to go write. Uh, I fall in love. That so that's when I wrote that song. Was when she told me that. So um, basically, to, to get in that type of mood, yeah, you, it's good to have a muse. I've always called my wife the muse, Lawrence. I think she's in the. In the in in the uh chat room today uh, i've always called called her my muse and you know you you when you, you've been with someone long enough you can always find something to in, inspire you to write mm-hmm. good or bad yeah. you know because you know you have good you have good times you have bad times so you, right. have, you always got something to write about so that that will get you in a, a particular mood then then you can go to the keyboard and you can hit a chord you know, I'm, I've all whenever I'm in the studio, I have I always have mood light. Uh, I've got um, different uh, light neon lights, uh, mm-hmm. 
-hmm. and little globes that change color nice. and yeah. all the lights only lights in the, in the room are, are that so mm -hmm. it, it keeps the mood on and it keeps you in a mood to recreate so and that's cool. part of that creative universe. You need all that stuff. Oh yeah. At least I do. I like all that stuff. Yeah, yeah like I see, I yeah. see your neon in the back. My, yeah, I, I, I got, got some. Like got that. some. Yeah, he got some nice you, ones. You kidding me? I got, I got, I got the kid from a, a Star Wars <laughs> little green guy over there. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I got him. He's in my office. <laughs> Aren't those things trippy, though, JC? Oh man. I tell those you, I, I, I got him. I got him. He's posed like this. And it's like, hey, don't mess with me because he's going to use the force on you, man. <laughs> tell, 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 tell him, JC, Gary, yeah. you can he won't say nothing for months. <laughs> for months, he won't say nothing. And then you're recording, you're doing something. And all of a sudden, this fool decides you want to come to live and start talking. Oh. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. That's you like, dang, uh, these batteries never die. I told my wife, hey, that's okay. Uh -huh. But if I see that little sucker coming down the hallway one day, right? uh -huh. <laughs> time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Oh, oh my man. goodness. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shoot, man. That's true. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, and so and for those those that don't know, you you're in the uh, Fort Worth, Dallas, uh, Fort Worth area. Yes, I'm in, I'm in the Fort Worth, Dallas area. I actually mm -hmm. live in Fort Worth, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, been here uh, oh, for for a few years, okay. <laughs> a couple of decades. Uh, after I got, after I got out of the Air Force, and I've been here um, mm -hmm. doing my day job and making music all that time, raising yeah. children. Yeah, you know, How doing you athletics, being coaches and stuff. Right, right. Uh, so, what's the scene like down there in, in the Fort Worth Dallas area? Are you getting uh, able to get out to kind of see what the live scene is like and everything? Yeah, I um, <coughs> I haven't done much of the, uh, of the live um, music mm -hmm. in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, it's I, I just haven't had time. Right. I, but that is something that I'm looking forward to doing. Mm -hmm. um, probably starting next year sometime. Mm -hmm. um, I have more time to do something like that, yeah. but uh, it, it it is a real, um, real live, real, real popular live uh, place to be. You got a live a lot of musicians in this area, mm -hmm. uh, some of them pretty successful, mm -hmm. and uh, you know they they all live in the area. So yeah. I I, I kind of wish we would all get together <laughs> and say, yeah. hey, you Dallas Fort Worth guy, hey, I'm a Dallas Fort. Let's do something. No doubt. Let's put on a big show or something. You know. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking forward to doing something like that. Yeah, no, that's a I good idea, JC. I believe it. You could, you should organize something like that, man. Mm -hmm. Go to the JC Homie Festival, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I make a joke. I'm being yeah. serious. Oh man, I'm being very serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could. I would, I would be one, down. What's that bar? Well, it's a club, and it, it has a lot. They have a lot of more, more so blues artists. I can't think of the name. Yeah. Of it. Um, mm -hmm. That's yeah, blues blues is popular, and of course, you know a lot of the greats group they were in this this area. So mm -hmm. uh, blues blues is very popular here. Southern soul, yeah, uh, we definitely. The, the, you have guys that that come through here regularly on mm -hmm. the Southern Soul uh, mm -hmm. trail. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. in fact, I know we got a couple of uh, Southern Soul artists that are going to be coming on the show here pretty soon. Uh, Great. It seems like that's another market that uh, mm. is very, very popular, but a yes. lot of people do. Uh, but it's almost like underground too, isn't it? Sort of, it's sort of speaking. Yeah, you folks. know, the the blues is real popular in East Texas, and you know, mm -hmm. you got little pockets here and there where people listen to the blues. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's uh, it's something that's always been, you know prevalent and it's real relevant now because yeah. some more people are starting to do it that, that the artists are getting younger you, you starting to have a younger uh mm -hmm. younger artists starting to do it right so it's it's taking on a new flavor mm -hmm. um of, of, you got more hip-hop uh, influence inside of it and i've, I've even saw a, a couple of collabs with some some hip-hop artists with some southern soul artists so mm -hmm. it's getting more popular so you, you i've got one of those tracks on my album uh, back down home, mm -hmm. um, but you you you'll start to hear me do more of that. Nice, nice, fantastic, fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. Um, now, uh, YJ, 
Yvonne J., she lives in that area down that way, too, isn't she? Yes, she does. I, I, I actually live very close to Yvonne. Oh, do probably you? About 10 minutes, yeah, oh. probably about 10 minutes away. Oh, okay. So, I didn't know that. I, yeah. I don't know why I thought she was like in the UK or something. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> well, she's originally, she's a, she's a Scottish. She's originally from Scotland, and she has family still oh, there. Awesome. So, yeah. Oh, that's you know, probably she, yeah. she's probably still from Scotland. And she has family still there. So, you know, yeah, she, she's actually been back. Uh, uh, in fact, she's in the chat, too. Hey, what's oh. up, Hi, YJ? Bob. YJ. Hi, YJ. Yeah. But, hey, God. Uh, but uh yeah and then of course you know we know our sister uh joyce is, is down in texas yeah joyce, as well. joyce is on the other other side of the city mm -hmm. uh, she lives she lives on the other side of dallas okay and uh <clears throat> yeah we, she got a lot something. of people mm -hmm. there's yeah, some yeah. more stuff down there in dallas i'm real close there yeah we're close <laughs> in uh, old so. party stepping grounds mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yes indeed indeed yeah jc I, I see a line from your wife i guess it must have been you was talking when you were talking about her because she said don't oh. make me cry <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh okay yeah i guess you're telling the story she said, i guess it i guess it triggers some good memories oh, yeah it's, i see yeah she's got it, my wife I, i'm looking at the chat i see my wife i see my, my her sister my sister-in-law and okay i've oh, got quite, quite a bit of family well, welcome everybody oh, we're glad yeah. that welcome family okay yeah. you joined us mm -hmm. Definitely. yeah we need so. that support from our family because we know we take them through it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, would be, yeah. we would be remiss yeah. if we didn't right. recognize the real boss. So, you know, we can't, we can't go there. There you go. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. She know me. And and what's your wife, what was your wife's name again? Uh, it's Lauren. Lauren Smith. You'll see hey, her in the Lauren. chat. You got, Welcome, got Rosalind. Lauren. We appreciate you coming in. Damn. Supporting, yeah. your, supporting your husband. I and... see. <clears throat> and I said, I see Rosalind here. She, uh, the thing, thing about Rosalind is they, uh, her family has been very supportive of me mm -hmm. uh, since I was a teenager. Uh, nice. I, I would, <laughs> there was stuff I would record and they hear it and they wondered, why ain't it on the radio? Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. That kind of, so they, they've been kind of expecting this for a couple of decades, uh -huh. but I, I finally did it and, and they're, they're very supportive of everything. So I, I appreciate them as well. That's great. It's a village, my brother. It does. For sure. For it, sure. It really does. That's so, why I love this show, because we have artists that nobody may not, you know, mm -hmm. not put out there in the mainstream and highlights, and, you know, somebody got to showcase you guys. So. Yeah. Well, uh, excellent. I always appreciate our GHP. Mm -hmm. uh, they they keep me, keeps my stuff and my, my music in rotation, and, man, that is that is a, a great thing you do for the independent artist. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very appreciative of it. Well, we, yeah, we appreciate it, and we yes what we love to do we got to keep these artists uh out there keep that light on them um because there's so really? many so many talented out there and it's just it's it's enough it's a room i always believe you know been a believer of being you know a room for everybody you know it's you know i know how you know the traditional thing coming up you know those uh terrestrial radio stations how they used to always have just a a certain amount of people that they would play you know all day long you know but what, what yes. about everybody else you know so right. and thank god we have internet radio and 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 the, and the tools today to uh to spread you know spread everything about uh th these artists that are not uh getting heard so exactly because i believe they all all independent should be artists should be heard mm -hmm. you know uh whether whether you're there or not they should be playing it doesn't matter right. support is support yeah. you know absolutely and uh, and, and and it's not that uh, they shouldn't put each other Sometimes they'll put people against each other and stuff, mm -hmm. but that's the thing we gotta overcome that too, and just all work together. Mm -hmm. We all gotta work together because we're all doing the same thing. We're yes. working towards the same goals. Yes. And uh, you gotta realize that you know there are going to be we're not going to be able to get into some of them smooth jazz tunes sometimes, mm -hmm. or we're not going to be able to get into these other things. It just, it just, that's just won't, that just won't happen. Right. So we have to find our other our own avenues that's and right. use our own resources. Mm -hmm. and and the people that we know connected and that's how we network with all independent artists that's why i'm so proud to be a part of this and i love what you do gary because this is a pure pure outlet to support yeah. the independent artists not sometime not some days of the week right. but every day every day, every yeah. day. Yeah. yeah that's for real absolutely because of course of the that's why it's your independent music source mm -hmm. yeah yeah because <laughs> if you don't know if you don't know you know our our 24 7 uh uh broadcast you know that streams 24 7 i mean i have everybody over there that's been on this show that's submitted music to me 
uh, you know, you, a lot of the artists have several tracks that they've sent to me, so all of it's been dumped on to that that platform. So every day your music is being played and being heard over there. So uh, we just definitely uh, uh, want to uh, appreciate all the people that do support the station, and and mm -hmm. uh, and and I'll ask that you definitely keep uh, pushing it out for us, uh, letting people know, you know, that uh, that we have some really really uh, you know, should be heard artists that's played over there all the time. So, that's, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's true. That yeah. is very true. Mm -hmm. and it, because, I mean, Gary is doing this out of, of a service of his heart and his really He's not he's not getting anything for this. He's just something that he loves to do and support. And I just have so much respect for that. Yeah. I well, mean, you know, it just comes from the heart, you know, because I'm an artist as well, independent artist as, as myself, you know, and I know how it is um, coming up. And you know the struggles, you know, especially back before all this, these tools were available to us to, to, right. to use. You know, I remember those days where it was always, you get turned down. You know, you try to send your music to this particular station or you know these real yes. stations. Yeah, and they just you know say, well, we got this special format. You know, <laughs> or we don't. You know, we're, right now we're not taking any. Uh, solicited, Un unsolicited music. music. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unsolicited <laughs> music. That's, exactly. that's when I'm going to send them 20 more. <laughs> you know, here's, here's 10 more. Right. You don't accept unsolicited right. music. Yes. yes. Oh, man. So. And, and <laughs> that was the term back in the day that, that really got me to just you know, step away from it. You know? mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it you know, all, all the time it was unsolicited. Uh, you're not on the label. Uh, right. Right. You don't have an agent. What else? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah, any kind of any kind of excuse. Yeah. Right. Not to put it on. So right. yeah, yeah so I, I step back and now you know it's a different game. Any anybody mm -hmm. that can record that has a way to get get their music recorded can get it distributed mm -hmm. and possibly get it heard. That's so if right. if you can make something good mm -hmm. enough, somebody's yeah. gonna hear it. Mm -hmm. And if someone hears it, it it'll 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 blaze on its own trail. Right, and, and, it's, and, and I'm gonna say this: it's not about. Be, be, it's really not about being rich and famous. Mm -hmm. It's not doing it. It's about becoming, mm -hmm. becoming mm -hmm. that songwriter, becoming that musician. Oh yeah, that in the, itself is a great feat. Mm -hmm. That's what's up right there. The becoming of it. Yeah, absolutely. For real. The journey. I mean, and it's crazy that Gary, you said that my dad worked for a. Um, you know, he was always an artist and he did went through the whole struggle or whatever, mm -hmm. but he worked for a radio station and he said people would send them stuff all the time. And yeah. he never agreed. Like they would throw those people's tapes in the trash. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I've heard but that. My dad would be like, let me take that out the trash. Let me see if I can right. you know, do some recording with him or for him, or uh -huh. maybe we can do something because, and it, and that was just the business and it was so cutthroat. He, it was. That's why he got out of the radio scene. It was. Uh -huh. Still is. Yep. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I've heard them stories it, like that. Yes, yeah, exactly. it ain't took no rest. It ain't took no rest. Mm -hmm. no. 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 Yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. And they grease enough people grease enough palms in there, so that's who got hurt. Yeah. You know how that was. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that famous word what was it payola? I can't remember. Yeah, the payola yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. But like yeah, Jason said, uh, the, it's different now, and uh, if you have, the, if you do your research. Right. And, and 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 study your move uh, before you make your move mm -hmm. you're gonna do well just keep keep at that and don't take the you say no you're gonna get a lot of no's shoot i was jc they, they say no no we're not accepting this you are because i'm sending it every other week <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you do play it mm -hmm. and then finally they come back oh yeah oh, uh, what was that could you send that to us again right you know but you got to keep Man. having that you see and and we got to look out for new up and coming Artist, just like Shar, y'all don't know. <laughs> Shar got the voice, y'all. Oh man, <laughs> she was singing this hard out here for Kim. No, she was singing. Y'all, y'all should have seen her sing. Was it? Was it tight though? Was it tight, Gary? Oh, <laughs> well, she do oh, got a voice. She, she do got her voice though. Y'all, y'all better watch out. 
now. He's putting it out there. Just... Ah, nah, yeah, fool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That song was stuck in my head, I promise, all week. I'm like, maybe I'm not her husband. She, she, she did sound a lot like Taraji. I've been doing 90,000 things. Right? <laughs> Isn't that one of those movies you just gotta stop and watch even if your channel's Because <laughs> it's about up and coming artists. You know, they doing their thing. Yeah, yeah but, but how about for a rapper to win an Oscar? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that, they didn't that like that. That was something. Yeah, they, that that changed out changed the Oscars for a night. They didn't like that at all. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I I have to agree with you though, the CTK. She did sound a lot like Taraji on that one. She did. She, she did. I, I must admit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they don't realize that she had it. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. She had all, all the man mannerisms on it. Yeah. All the syllables. <laughs> the enunciations. Yeah. Oh. Um, oh, well, you know what? I think we should take another uh, another music break. In fact, right. hey, another J.C. Smith music break. So I want to pick yeah. another one. Uh, what about now the one that you first sent me, the single? Um, okay. Uh, the one that you're pushing right now. What's what's one? Calling, that? calling you. Yeah, tell that's us. the that's the first. Yeah. That's the first track on the album, and that's the beginning of the be, beginning of the love story. Okay, tell uh, us about uh, it, man. Uh, tell your us call. Yeah, it's it's basically it's a it's a smooth contemporary jazz type song with a with a piano lead mm -hmm. and, a, and a guitar lead, mm -hmm. and uh, basically it starts a story where you're making that call, you know, mm -hmm. trying to get her to come on over. So. That's what it's all about, call, <laughs> calling it. All right, all right. Nice. Well, let's check that one out, and then uh, and then we will come back. Uh, if you just tuned in, our Mr. music guest today is Mr. J.C. Smith in the house. So we're going to come back. Keep it locked. You got your home, and I got mine. Good to see 
very very nice very nice very nice. Mm -hmm. nice production nice production mm -hmm. yeah jc that was nice you get, man you get some people gotta get stuck in one court and won't move man <laughs> yeah oh yeah. yeah you gotta do it man <laughs> it won't move you can move with a crowbar <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that was nice though. Very, nice, very nice. nice. Very, very nice. nice. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Real. Yeah. When you get, you know, you get stuck in a groove like that, you you gotta break it up. And that that modulation that allowed me to do that, man, it, mm -hmm. it worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I know everybody out there in the chat is enjoying enjoying it, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, nothing but good. Good, good things to, uh, right. always said about your music, man. And uh, and that's another thing about your music. I love your music because every time I hear you, uh, you know, you do have your sound, your own sound. So I, I can almost, mm -hmm. I, you know, I've been listening to you for so long now. I kind of already know when that song come on. I'm like, oh, I think that's that's JC. And you always have those. Oh, those, man. Those, yeah. Those cool, I can tell those, when I hear JC. Yeah. Exactly. And you always have those cool melodies, you know, um, mm. and stuff. So. Oh, that, now that's that's something good right there that because that's all that's all i really wanted was if i was if i was going to do jazz i would like to be able to you know somebody throw it on and that would be it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they know it was me that's what i always want yeah you exactly yeah. 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 yeah do we got any questions like do we got any questions out in the chat or anything that you know of i had I, i'm seeing the chat but i'm not able to I have such a, a delay. I don't know. Yeah, that's normal. Thirty minutes ago. Oh, I okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look here. Oh, she. Uh, Colleen said she had a question. I don't know yeah. how long ago that was because I'm in a delay here. Oh, she says uh, your new music going. Is it? Oh, okay. Is it going to be on a CD? I guess. Um, okay, we, we can answer that. We're, That'd be a good question to answer. We're, yeah, we're we're actually on live, y'all. I don't know if y'all knew that. Oh, we, we're back. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're back this whole we time. That out. Yeah. <laughs> we know. Bro, bro. Right. Hey, every, hey, everybody. <laughs> Glad we didn't say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and, and no, nobody falling asleep either. So. <laughs> Best Oh man, that everybody, could have been something. I, I didn't know y'all. I thought y'all was following. No, me. I knew we were back on. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was, it was Gary. Gary. Yes. I was rubbing my knees. Was <laughs> I, I didn't know. I'm glad. We, oh, uh, oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. that's, that's the reason why I was, why I was kind of uh, like talking about the people in the chat, you know. And... <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll give you I'll give you I'll give you the fair warning. I'll give you the fair warning uh, the next time. Oh man! All right. Well, let me let me let me ask you, Kali, his question. Yes, yes. Uh, the um, yeah, I'm looking. You know, la last time I did these, I don't know if y'all can see see those. It's like USB cards. Oh, and wow. yeah, awesome. people, people really didn't they didn't know what they were <laughs> Those cool. you know they they look just like you no know, cd covers they have a, you know had a smooth nice thing on it mm -hmm. so he would either do that or do cds so mm -hmm. i'm trying to you know figure mm -hmm. you know whether i'm going to do cds this time yeah or just go half and half and do do some usb cards right and do cd but i got you know i got a, i got a good got to get a good feel of what's going to sell yeah um, you're right maybe, you're right yeah because I, ha I have to pay for those and cds are yeah. not really not no, they, what they, they used they, to be they anymore cheap. uh people are you know they don't put the cd players in the cars anymore and right um you know they uh, have you they have us B drives in the in the cars. Yeah, that's why yeah. I, I thought I was ahead of the time by putting my putting my stuff on USB cars. Mm -hmm. uh, I may still do that, but people like CDs. But mm -hmm. I, I noticed they only sell. They don't really sell off the site. They they will sell a few just for just for just to have them. Right. Um, when mm -hmm. you're on the shows and stuff like that. Yeah. Right. So they're good, that's they're why good it's, a, have it's a, a good idea. Cars. That's why it's a good idea to get. Um, uh, USB bracelets. That way, to get the bracelets, and you, you lose it. Oh, yeah. Okay. You have to do now. Think that's about that. Some, that's something. That's something. USB bracelets. 
You can uh-huh. have the front of it like the album picture on the bracelet on the cover of it, and, and, and then you can just stick the USB into the car wherever you want to go. Boom, boom. Hmm. Yeah. Bracelets. <laughs> USB. Okay. You heard it here. Both to you by the people at Bronco that also have good products like. Gear is good hair products. I working on that product. I knew, I knew, uh, I'm sorry, Gary. I knew he wanted that. I know he did. I, I had to say it. I had to say it. It, 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 it just took him. I did not buy him. <laughs> like he said, you gotta be grateful where the sponsorship comes from. A word from my sponsors. Right. That's right. They, 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 they support the product. You gotta have a word from my sponsors. You tell them, John. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, Gary. Uh, I knew you wanted to do that. We gotta pay the bills. Uh, gotta pay the bills. That's funny. Uh, that's funny. Uh, since we're talking about, yeah. Since we're talking about uh, 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 products and food, uh, I'm a foodie too. I love food. What is the, the good food to eat there? Of where you're at you know each place has a different you know each area has a different mm. favorite thing no. and uh i mean if i came there for if for you, two days where would be the first you, place you took me to eat if you came to fort worth there we got to go to barbecue man mm. and there's several there's several different places to choose from um uh, if we going out we going out for the east like the east texas gotta stop in my hometown and get some pittsburgh hot links mm. as with it, it, it <laughs> Don't don't look them up because you're gonna see them and go, what the heck is that? <laughs> just got, you, got, you just got whenever you get some, <laughs> just put a little chili on them, put a little bit of hot sauce on them, put them between some crackers and go at it because yeah. they they are addictive. Yeah. You will drive you, you will drive hours just to get them. Mm, that sounds good. Yeah. I bet you, I, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. You, you know how I knew he was serious, Gary? What? Because <laughs> he didn't mention any mandy. See, that's when you know. Oh, mm, no, man. No. <laughs> when they don't mention that, that means yeah. you're getting good real barbecue. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't put no man in there. No, 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 no. Get that out of here. Everybody go to. <laughs> And at the soul food, what's that soul food restaurant down in Dallas? Everybody go up. Uh, oh, it's pretty big. I man, my my mind is blank. Man, I can't think of nothing. It's more east too. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I know you're talking about. And it'd be a line at the door, and I'm like, yeah, it better be good. Ooh, really? yeah, we got uh, we yeah. got we got probably got local local Ken folk in in the in chat that could probably Ooh. have that answer. I uh I knew that answer. Mm. I can't think of. It. I can't even. I can see it. I can't think of it. Mm-hmm. See, that, I you, that's I, why I, I get you. mad sometimes, Char. That's all because you see on YouTube you got these this good food in some of these places, and you say, "Oh, dang, that looks good." And it's like you know, five hundred miles away from you and stuff. Thank you. Right. <laughs> got, you <laughs> all, uh-huh. got you all excited and everything. Like, oh, vacation for that one. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. But that's how they do it. I was reading Uh-oh. something about you, JC, and it's okay. that you played the, is it the keytar? Was that yeah. back, like, when you first, how hard is I, that, how hard is that to play like that? Yeah, I, man, my, my key, normally my keytar would be in the frame, I move my camera, mm-hmm. but it's sitting just right over there. Um, that, in fact, that's, I still play it. I, I mainly use it, it's, it's, it's something that you use live. Right. And, mm-hmm. and, what it, what makes it really good is when I'm on stage with it live, I have a wireless uh, wireless device and a hook to it, so I can move up and down the stage like I have my guitar. So it it allows me, you know how keyboard players they're really stuck behind their stack of keyboards. Right, right. With my guitar, I can take that up and down the stage and react to people playing solos, trying to be cool like I'm playing a guitar. <laughs> you never as cool as you playing a guitar. Mm-hmm. You you never am, but you can get close with a key talk. Yeah, you can get close. So uh, that's what I use it for. And it's 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 something you know that became popular back in the eighties. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, yeah, the real the lot a lot of real um, jazz keyboardists will still use a key talk. Oh yeah, Herbie Hancock is the same one. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. he does. Yeah, it, because it allows you to to react with the audience, intermingle with the audience a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Would you, you say would. it's harder to learn how to? play like that because most if you're playing keyboard you're like this and of course the guitar yeah but it's such a i don't, I don't know I feel right. like it's for, for me to play or learn to play 
for me it was it was easier because I started out as a guitar player. Uh, you know, I, I went from guitar to key, keyboard was probably the last thing I learned to play. Uh, it, that was because I didn't have anybody to play with me. I was playing everything myself. So I had I had to learn how to play the piano uh, just to be able to record my my songs. Mm -hmm. So right. it became easier because I was I'm able to chord with my right hand and doing all the finger work with my left hand, just like a guitar. Yeah. So that's what you do with the guitar. You're playing every, all the chords and stuff with your right hand, doing all your solos and all the bends and all this stuff that you would like you would do on a guitar. Mm -hmm. You can do that on a guitar. It yeah. has it has a control. I'm using my left hand just like I'm on a fretboard on a guitar. Right. So it's it was probably an advantage for me because <clears throat> I, I was I came from a different instrument, and so it was it wasn't hard for me to, to adapt to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. There's a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it's it's it's, a, it's fun to play. I like it. Real cool. Now I remember uh, some time back. I don't know if this was like last year or the year before, but didn't you did you went to like a place to do a live performance and it was like your hometown? Was it your hometown? Yeah, yeah. I, I did a show in my hometown uh, mm -hmm. about a year ago. Um, I, I I think I. Uh, I, I took it was there was some video from it. I put it in the um, "Gonna Be Okay" mm -hmm. uh, video. I, I did a video for "Gonna Be Okay," uh, the single I released from my Smooth Nights album, and uh, it was it was a show I did after my uh, my hometown's uh, homecoming game, mm -hmm. and we we basically did a show there in Pittsburgh, and it it was very successful. It's a small town, whole town showed up. In that small oh. place, <laughs> and, and uh, we had we had a good time. Like I said, it got on video. It's it's on that that gonna be okay video as well. Uh, parts of that parts of that performance. So uh -huh. um, that's cool. Yeah, that, and, and I I used the guitar and everything in that too. Yeah. Uh, basically, basically did did my whole album, um, and it it was a good experience because it, it gave uh, my hometown a chance. To see, you know, somebody, you know, sometimes someone from the area that they knew mm -hmm. uh, right. that, that had put out something like that, yeah. even if mo a lot probably didn't understand uh, the the significance of it, mm -hmm. you know. But mm -hmm. this, it was significant to me because I was able to go back home Absolutely. and do it. You know, they they say sometimes you, you can never go home, mm -hmm. but right. that that was proof that yes, you can. You can. Uh, you can go back home. You can go back home and and show the appreciation for the for the people that saw you back in the day and, mm -hmm. and, and i grew up with you. that's so awesome man I it, thought was, it was great to do that yeah when i saw that i thought i thought that was such a great deal and uh oh, yeah. well did you was you able to kind of connect and see some people from back from back you know when you, yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes yeah. yes and, you know you have to uh you know you, you have to be real careful yeah you, you look on real hard because a lot of them you haven't seen it like two <laughs> <laughs> so, right. okay, talk 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 a little bit longer i'm gonna figure out who you are yeah right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah i know who you are now yeah, yeah, yeah. let's see yes sir. yeah, yeah look like being ambushed hey man how you been man? <laughs> like, hey, yeah. Uh, yeah i don't know you yet keep talking keep talking right yeah, exactly uh -huh. colleen asked the question uh -huh. I only want to know uh, uh, about you playing sax, or Ooh. have you played sax? She said, uh, "Ask JC about uh, playing a saxophone." Okay. I tell you what, I I I found out that it was easy to get other people that know how to play it. You know. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that's right. I, I um uh, yeah, I I always wanted to play a saxophone, mainly because whenever you you you're in the club or you're playing with a, anybody that plays a saxophone in a band. No matter how good you're playing, you can be turned up, turn it up on that guitar to turn it up on the bass. They want to talk to the saxophone player. They ain't talking to you. <laughs> right. So that's that was the first thing that made me want to go learn how to play the sax. And when I did, I made some loud, terrible squeaking noises when I tried. So <laughs> I, I can't, I just can't get it right. But I'm going to cheat and get me one of those, uh, those air phones. <laughs> arrow phones and learn how to play yeah. just to get my finger right and then one day maybe i'll figure out how to get that read to sound correctly but right now i just i just can't get a good tone out of a saxophone i'm, I'm trying to i'm working on it mm -hmm. I, i'll probably be able to do the trumpet faster because i've been able to get a good sound out of a trumpet and a trombone before but saxophone that's the one i want to learn 
Well, yeah. And I'm tired of all you guys want to put. I'm tired of you guys want to play trumpet now because Michael Garvin and you. <laughs> and now, <laughs> we're tiny trumpet boys here now. <laughs> no, now Michael's did pretty good though. He, it's I, I, I hate that they tore his, they bent his all up. The Man, crap the, oh my god! Yeah. Way out there. yeah. JC, he walked into the studio mm. and he hadn't opened it up since he got off the plane. Oh, he discovered it. And when he came studio. into the studio, I said, "Yeah, let's see that horn, man." I'm waiting for it, hearing about it. Oh. And when we looked at it, it was upside down like this in there. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh no! Uh, that was a bad thing. I didn't know he he saw it. He he discovered it right when they all got together, man. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know that had to, that that would have put me in such a bad mood. I wouldn't have been able to record anything. <laughs> For real, and he was and he was man, and 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 I put my heart went out to him, you know, and and and, uh, and we did we you know he got he got over enough to do work, and we just worked on it. But we talked about it every day. You yeah. know, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> right. uh, three, four times a day. Oh, I can imagine. You know, yeah. Like nine days straight. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, that was very unfortunate, man. It was unnecessary, but mm. yeah, that was sad. Yeah, but he's he's pretty good on the sack on the on the trumpet though. He's he's pretty good. So I, I yeah, I'll... yeah, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> I give him props. Right. Yeah, what, what's that so, he got? So, right. Salted, salted caramel or whatever. Salted caramel. <laughs> salted caramel. Oh, I oh, hear it one more time. It's you. You turn on the radio, you'll hear it, man. It's, a step it's for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> But it stepped into CTK's territory. It's, uh, man, it's, a, it's a very addicted track. Uh, they don't get shot, tired of shout out to NG. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you just hear it and it stays with you. Mm -hmm. He man, that's a genius track you got, it, MG. It, 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 it's more it's on more than a serial commercial. As you can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> It goes on and on. So I, I want to learn how to play the sax or the trumpet and have everybody play my stuff like they play MG stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. No, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, but 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 he, he found the silver lining in it. And, and, yeah. and you know what was another silver lining about that for him was that uh, even though that had happened, he got good news that hey, wow, uh, uh, my song got picked up for Grand uh, Theft Auto. There, there was a silver oh, lining so in that, and, and it was he took he took that as like you know this a little silver lining in that 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 took the sting <laughs> out just a little bit, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. By the way, one of my songs on Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> not mine. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Uh, by the way, yeah, they, they tore my trumpet, but you know, like I'm not sad anymore. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, how about this, Char? Oh, by the way, uh, Jado just so I picked my song for her purple commercial. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm really not sad then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I heard. Oh, I heard man. about that. That uh, that's, nice accomplishment. That's awesome. mm -hmm. wow. Oh yeah. That's awesome. we, but we love you, Michael. And that was unfortunate. And I know <laughs> it, 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 he, he appreciated oh, that everybody felt for him. You know, because I mean, he knows you. He knows you, JC. He knows everybody. He, 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 oh yeah. That's so. so yeah, I, I, I it's like family. You know. Yeah, I appreciate the support from MG, man. I call him MG. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, is he? He's uh it's it's amazing that somebody of that stature would just reach out to little old me like that, you know. <laughs> so nobody nobody ever that. sees you how you see yourself, Jason. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I, I mean, I, 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 no one. Period. No one sees you how you see yourself. No one ever does. You know, yeah. so, so you gotta give yourself more than that. You're not just a little old nothing, man. You you're a creator, <laughs> man. You're a musician, and I don't want to hear you talk about like that again. Talk about yourself all like right, that again, because right. the no, body doesn't again. understand what you tell it, good or bad. It just goes with it. So you stay on that top, brother. That's right, I got it. I got you. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. Well, maybe come there because I got frequent flyer miles. I'll come there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come there. Beat you up, right? You know, CTK. Right, never never again. again. No. I'm, no, I'm no longer little old me now. Do a, do okay. a drive -by hey, you, you, bro. hey, you put the work in. I already know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can I tell. Drive -by. Yeah. Right, <laughs> a horn drive down there. <laughs> oh man, not the, horn, not the horn, not the horn drive by. Man. <laughs> Tell you, I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn just so I can start doing that. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> Wake you up in the morning, man. What you got? Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So, uh, so the, out of the the tracks that you sent me. Um, <laughs> Uh, JC, do you have a particular one out of that that you'd like to highlight today? Um, 
Well, uh, we, we played one collab. Uh, let's at, le at least do the, the other collab with um, Otley Reed. Yeah. Uh, waiting for you. That is, that is the, the cliffhanger. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Shaw that we were talking about. That's that's a that's the that's the love affair cliffhanger, so uh, it's it's a it's a ballad that um, you know it, it basically talks about um, losing you know like there's a break an obvious breakup and we're trying to get he's trying to get his his love of his life to come back home, and that is waiting for you. You call waiting for you? Did you you did send that one to me? I believe I did. Waiting for you. Okay, maybe I didn't get it on here. I'm trying to look. I'm looking at the list here. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. For some reason, I don't see that among. Oh, okay. Well, group, that group waiting for you was a hand cliffhanger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not, not to say you didn't send it, because I could have maybe, when I was dragging all this over into my player, I thought I grabbed everything, but I. Because what, right, well, what, what I'm looking at, I'm looking at I Fall in Love, Calling You, Ride With Me, Away, uh, Falling For You, uh, Love Around The World, Should Have Been uh, You And Me, uh, Back Down yeah, yeah. Home, and Feel That. Uh, yeah, back, you, you have a few of those were from my Smooth Nights nice album. Oh. The, uh, the, the one, the, the one I probably, uh, let's, let's, let's look at the, the Southern Soul one. Uh, the tribute to my hometown. I got I got some of my my folks uh, on here, so we can we can hear the the tribute I did for them, my back hometown down home. Back, back down back down home. Yeah, that's the that's a Southern Soul track, uh, basically talking about you know how things were growing up, and mm -hmm. you know how it is in that part of the world. So uh, Sweet. back down home. All right, that sounds good. All right, everybody, let's go into this one and. Uh, and then we'll come back, you guys. So everybody hang tight. And uh, we'll be right back with J.C. Smith here on the Indie Live Spot. Keep it locked. Now break it down, baby. Yo, Jay, turn the good talk a little bit. Take you back to my roots with this one. Back to the party woods. Where we always had a good time. So y'all come ride with me. Uh -huh. Here we go. You know I heard this song the other day. It took me way back, back in a down home way. It made me reminisce about the folks I know. The fun we had, you never had grow. The trail rides in the piney woods, the hay rides too. Couldn't wait for the yamboree, our favorite things to do. The whole town was shut down each and every Friday night to watch the boys play, yell and go fight, fight, fight. You got your home, and I got mine. So good to see everybody doing just fine. You really don't know where we headed to. Uh, this cold time, I tell you what we gonna do. To the side. Oh yeah, where I come from. Uh huh. Don't take it to the side. Don't take it. Yeah. Got my down home people in my down home town. Got a down home woman, keeps me ten toes down. Been for the young years, she been good to me. Couldn't pick a better woman, that's a guarantee. Lord, I miss my mama and my father too. But they gave me the courage to see it all through. Gotta see my anus, my cousins too. 
Keep the family together Like we always do Like you've got your home And I've got mine So good to see Everybody's doing fine And if you really don't know Where we hit it to rolling with me, swinging on the stepping, having a good time, <laughs> I see you, <laughs> so there's some that don't know what I mean when I say down home, so let me take you on a little trip down my way, here we go, mm-hmm. heading out to East Texas, for high links that hit, if they don't say Pittsburgh, them links ain't it, heading up to MP, Governor D. Field. Heading south to the lake Where the parties were real Now we're going through Tyler And Longview Then we're going through Kilgore And Marshall too Now we're in Louisiana To the places I know Say Shreveport, Bossier Where we hit that boat Heading south through the fire Straight to Lake Charles Heading east to New Orleans, y'all know where we are. Heading west to Bowman, stop and get some zoom holes. Heading on to Houston, gotta see my folks. Then we going to Corpus and RGV. Gotta stop at the Stone, you know the HEB. Heading up to Austin, where it all goes down. Can't forget about Dallas and a Fort Worth town. Oh yeah, you got your home and I got mine. So good to see when everybody's doing fine. If you really don't know where we're heading to. I like Southern Soul too. I really do. Yeah. yeah. It's a step yeah. music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a definitely, definitely stepping out music, swing out music right there. there you go. So, uh, yeah, dedicated to my hometown, my home area, Pittsburgh, East Texas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pittsburgh, East Texas. <laughs> I'm digging that though. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I didn't I didn't put that in the racket, but yeah, I was thick. I was hearing it in my head. Yeah. <laughs> and not the East Texas. That's uh, the remix version. Yeah, there you go. I love that. Hot links that hit. Right. <laughs> nice. Nice. Adding up the MP. Uh, I always had I always had to get the organ out of you know that you, know, oh, you gotta have the organ going. Break it down. Break it down. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that, that song was a lot of fun. It really was. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, it it's is. a fun song. I want to shout out our fa- some of the family in the uh, chat room uh, while we got the time here, because it's been a yeah. long time since we've seen some of the folks. I see. Uh, well, first of all, I see Jessica just came in there a little bit 
a little bit late. Jessica, nice to see you, girl. Hope you're doing okay. Jessica, hey, you Jessica. Go. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, Colleen, Henry, Colleen. Marilyn, Gina. Heidi. I see Heidi's uh, made it pass through. What's up, ladies? Uh, somebody else is Rosalyn, Duffy. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the sister. All right, sister. Oh, welcome. Liza. Welcome. Um, also... Let's see who else. Of course, Gia, my friend Gia, and uh, let's see who else we saw in here. Miss Heidi. Yeah, Miss Heidi, and then a uh, uh, Kara, uh, Kara Morris, and John, John Morris. I saw them uh, stopping through. Yeah, I did see see John. Hey, what's mm -hmm. up, Saint the Saint? Sister what's YJ. <laughs> the Yvonne. Yvonne. Henry. 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 Yeah. Henry Jim Horn. Don't y'all don't, don't y'all don't, don't forget Lauren Smith sitting out there in the audience. Lauren, yes, Lauren. Lauren. Hey Lauren. So happy. Great to, to see all these wonderful, yeah. talented female singers up in there, these ladies singers up here. Yeah. And the real singers. Oh yeah. <laughs> I ain't it. Yvonne James. I ain't it. And Heidi yeah. Ten, who who I've been working with uh, Real closely a lot lately. Yeah, I heard something's gonna be coming out pretty soon. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So that's all right. Looking forward to hearing oh, yeah. that. All right. Yeah. She's she's a she she's a hard worker. That woman, I'll tell you that right there. I did. She put a lot of work. Just just yeah. when we thought she was tired, JC. Uh huh. Uh, we did a session up in L.A. Maryland, started, Maryland. I see Maryland I was, in there. I think it was like eighteen hours. What's up, Maryland? Wow. Well, we missed him. Yeah. So Yvonne and Roslyn and. Yeah, they're all up in there. Mm. Yeah, he, he mentioned yeah. the Keisha. That's a whole lot of people going around. Mm. Hey, hey everybody! I'm, I'm, I'm looking for Keith. I don't see Keith today. Yeah, Keith was there. Was I Keith saw Keith earlier. Okay, Keith. It was up, so yeah. jazz man. Yeah, we need to shout Keith out because he's doing a lot of great things for our artists. As yes, well. he is. You awesome. Know, he, he got the radio going over there at, at uh, Jazzy Radio and Sweet. And uh, man, mm -hmm. appreciate everything. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right. Especially the people I call in. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So, so JC, faithful. so JC, what you got in store for the rest of this year? We got quite a little bit left Hell. yet, still. But you know well, how fast it's gonna roll, though. <laughs> <laughs> for real. For real. Um, you know, it's it's. The, the big thing for me was was getting the album completed mm -hmm. and getting it released yeah. it, it officially fi officially releases worldwide on the 25th that's uh okay. next what thursday yeah and then then it'll it, you know it'll be able to be uh downloaded and streamed everywhere at that time uh, right now it's, av it's available on my website mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. and late, later on it, you know it's it's collab season you know yeah uh, once once I get get done with my project, all the all the promised stuff, uh, I promised people I would do. I can get back on doing those mm -hmm. some collabs yeah. that I that I was working on. I can I can finally have time to do that. Yeah. And then it then it's time to practice up, and you know prepare to start doing some shows. All so right. that's that's the plan mm -hmm. for later this year. It's um, a good plan. Very good. You gotta have a plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that uh, where can good. everybody find you? Ah, well, I, I, I mentioned my, my website. It is J A Y C Smith. That's J C Smith Music dot com. Mm -hmm. So uh, at J A Y C Smith Music dot com, you can you can reach me everywhere. That's that's got my social media pages, my my uh, my Twitter, my, my I mean my X, uh, Facebook. <laughs> Uh, my Instagram, you can reach me, reach all of that uh, from my website. Uh, my uh, my album is available on the website right now to either listen to, stream, you can stream from the site, or you can buy from the site. Um, and all, all, all of my uh, gear that I sell is on, that, on the website as well. So, jaycsmithmusic.com is where you can reach me. Or you can find his music here, 24 hours, with GHB Radio. Don't forget. Bad. <laughs> and you're right. Bam. You're right on GHB Radio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bam. That's a nice card, man. 
Those are nice. Need to go pass some of them out later. <laughs> well, I, I still got some of but Gary, he get those are the ones you gave me to go to Nam with. You yeah, know? that's the, from the yeah. Nam. I remember that. Uh huh. It's just still. I think it's still a good card. I mean, oh yeah, you know, it's nice. And uh, nice. I, I give them out to uh, potential guests and things. But Gary's a very country guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he makes all his all his posters and stuff. But uh, I, I'm so enjoying you having JC. I, I really enjoy your music. You know, I really do behind the scenes. You know, behind the scenes, I know it, man. You know, you know, I know it, man. I know. You know, but I'm very, very proud of you, man. Mm, and I just you. you continue and, and to thrive and grow, and and and, and I can't wait till uh, you, me, and Gary are on something together. Yeah, and I look yeah, forward to yeah, that. We gotta, we gotta like, make that happen. That'd be great. Oh, we will, we will. You know, like you said, there's so many promises to other people. You know, waiting for this and waiting for that, and mm-hmm. you know how it is. But it's a pleasure when we do get together with them. And uh, I can't wait for it. It's going to be mm-hmm. fantastic. For real. Can't wait either, man. Yeah. Especially, yeah. If, especially if it's going to be in San Diego still. Shoot, I got to go there, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we gotta that beautiful some... weather out there. Yeah. yeah. We got mm-hmm. to get Char on something, man. Cause... <laughs> <laughs> you got to get it. You're wanna... on it. <laughs> I want to sing heavy metal. I want to sing rock. Hey. Oh, okay. Oh, oh you like no. rock? Mm-hmm. Don't, don't think, don't think we can't. I got a rap like about yeah. here. We need to make some soul rock. Can we get mm-hmm. that? Like that. I, I got, I got a wire and a fuzz pedal down here. We can make that Wait. happen. Hey. <laughs> awesome. Mm-hmm. Now, our Shar, well, our Shar, y'all, Char. a little bit, y'all probably didn't know, but our Shar has some little acting bug in her. She's getting yeah. ready to do some things, but, but, yes, uh, but. Did you did your thing go okay, Shar, over the week? It went Connie. great yesterday. We were the last person, so I was doing a major role, and so I'm kind of glad I'm not anymore because I was terrified. Okay. But I'm um, doing we like a small role. A friend of mine wrote a book, mm-hmm. so they're doing a movie. Um, it's called Off the Front Line, so it should be on Netflix. I think. What kind of character? Movie. What was your character? Um, I was playing Miss Anne, and I had a husband, so we busting in the door because it's a very, it's about his life and. So we busting in, trying to see because they were fighting. Like it was, a, it was a crazy scene, but yeah. um, well, we had a great time yesterday. But I love being on set. I ain't even gotta do nothing. Like y'all want me to clean up? Like I need, give me a broom, you know? <laughs> like, I just, I love right. being on set Ooh, and watching. Fun. I bet that was cool. It was, and watching them put makeup, like when she, you know, uh, got beat up and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it was just like great. And we had a bunch of little kids yesterday that did amazing. I shout out to those children. Cause we had um, mm-hmm. a what six month old, like two year old, and then like a, an eight or nine year old, and they did amazing. Um, but just being around, because we were around real actors too. Because I ain't no actor, y'all. I just be I act a fool every day, but I ain't no real <laughs> actor. But what um, was one of your more memorable lines? It, um, Barney's. We gotta get you to the hospital, sister. And you know, that's it. <laughs> well, you, had me, you had me going for a minute. Uh, yeah. I like <laughs> and that's it. Because then hey, that's a good line. we gotta go back. Hey. But we didn't get a chance to finish, but it was all you broke into that good girl. That was good. good. <laughs> so I'm she, trying to I mean, save my friend. I'm trying to save my neighbor from getting beat up by yeah. her. Yeah. She no went doubt. immediately in the character, man. Says <laughs> <a> snap. <laughs> I'm like, oh, whoa, mm-hmm. wait a minute. Hey. Well, see, she's a, she's a mother also, so, you know, a mother can turn on you real quick. You That's true. So hey. We get crazy. Hey. Yeah, we get crazy when we need to. So I needed Bond. I needed his. I needed to talk to Bond. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, oh yeah and by the way i'm sorry that i forgot to mention that I too know. to everybody that bond was uh bonds at a a uh a jazz uh museum conference today so that's the reason why he's not with us today but he'll he'll be back uh, miss you bond mm-hmm. how fun today mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah but that's that's cool uh sure Char- i'm glad everything went cool. wonderful that sounds fun yes mm-hmm. if they cut it then then you know i'm like well i thought you know <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you don't make the movie. Don't y'all say nothing. Be like, Char, we didn't see you. I can't cut you. Only lie, though. I just see the background of my hair on the side, right? <laughs> I'm a free frame. Free frame your back. <laughs> I saw you. Really bad. Oh, they're like, their hair sticking out. Look at your face. Uh, but you know, I, it's it's interesting too because anytime, like, if I'm introduced to mu- movies and stuff like that, I really want to connect with people like you, JC, CTK, that y'all play music, of course, Gary. Mm-hmm. So 
your music can be in some of these. So the more people that I know, yeah, the more I can be like, hey, they got this jazz song. Let's go and throw that in the movie, or oh, you know, whatever. yeah, so, that'd be cool. I, I want to be with Jay. <laughs> All my all music day. is always available oh, <laughs> for yeah, any of that. Comes <laughs> up, I will be hitting y'all up. Anytime. Like, hey, y'all need some tracks for this movie? Right. I got you. I got you. Oh, man. It all <laughs> works together. Definitely. We would appreciate that. Definitely, Shark. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, Oh, and speaking of music, uh, you also... Uh, got some stuff coming out uh, CTK in the uh, later this summer. Is that right? Oh yeah, shit. Thanks for mentioning. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got some uh, some new edition coming out and and some uh, some uh, stuff with Michael Garvin coming out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and like I said, we're producing Heidi Tan. So there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff coming out. There's gonna be a lot of music. This year, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, of course, y'all, uh, you know, Gary's always putting one out. I finally caught him. <laughs> I finally called him, so he stopped long enough for me to do something with him. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be coming out too. <laughs> so I'm taking. Not as quick as Gary does. I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> I don't know where Gary got the time. I really don't. Trying to figure it out. Take a break. He's like, gonna take a break. There ain't no break. Yeah, I, I can get up in the middle of the night at two in the morning to get a glass of water and my phone ding. <laughs> Gary made a song. Another right. video. <laughs> Gary, Gary, right. Not just a song, uh, a video too. Uh, here's another video. Here's another video. Right. <laughs> From G Hospital. Right, he don't just have a song. He just sees okay, he got a whole video jumping off. Oh I'm telling you, man. He's got it all. Hair products. <laughs> yes, JC and CPK working on the advertising market. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm working on the song. Uh, Raccoon products. <laughs> oh man. Oh, funny, funny, funny. Well, shoot. Well, I, I'm I'm open. We still got a little time. We got what? What? Where's the clock? Oh, okay. We got about 20 more minutes. Hey man, well, I wish you could play play play, play uh, back home again, man. <laughs> Great <laughs> song. Down, man. What did y'all think about you. the little dancers on that song? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. song man. Yeah, you got you got to swing out on that one. Uh -huh. uh, oh man, well, if, if, that, if man. you're gonna mm -hmm. if you're gonna play one more, yeah, we can we can have uh, let's 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 do that. Uh, do ride with me. Yeah. That's gonna that's the second that's the second track on the album. Mm -hmm. uh, like I say, that's that's the follow up to the uh actually it, you can be look you can look at it as like a follow up to Chillin' Tonight from uh -huh. my last right. my last album. Okay. It's it's like a follow up to that. Mm-hmm. Really like that. Uh and recently didn't you put like a promo video of something, but you were in a car. I just remember seeing it. You were in a car. It was true. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was. Yeah. That that was me testing. Uh, I was actually road testing. Uh, yeah. Ride with me. Ah. <laughs> in the car. Yeah, I saw that, man. And I put. I put a put a uh -huh. put a video like of me just bouncing. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Then he turned his head like Magnum PI. He couldn't hit like Magnum PI. See, see the car. The car would kind of drive itself for a little right. bit. You know, you can let go yeah, of the wheel for about thirty uh -huh. seconds. No, the cheese a little bit without <laughs> worry about wrecking or anything. So I, that's how I was able to do that. Sweet, <laughs> this, sweet. this was JC. This was JC. Oh man! <laughs> I love you, JC. I love you. Bro. Oh man! That, that, you know that, that was fun. It was dangerous, but that was fun. Yeah. yeah. Was fun. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Oh. Well, let's go. Let's go take a ride. Let's get. Let's do where I would be. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're and we'd be right back. <laughs> Don't keep it locked right here. <laughs> <laughs> get, ready, get ready, ready. Nice. <laughs>
Yeah, that was Jim and uh, CT. We were riding with JC just now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> let me tell you, it was, y'all. A bumpy, yeah. it was a bumpy ride, but it was all good. It was all <laughs> good. I, I need, ride. I need my six four with that plane. I need a, I need a red yeah. six four. There you go. Yeah. Right. That, right. That was the image I was given on that one. You, you gotta have, <laughs> have that six foot bouncing down the down the highway. Yeah, mm-hmm. bouncing. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Ride with me. Well, I know you Let's are happy me. and proud and just excited to to get this project out, man. Because I know how it is when you're working on something like that, man, and you're ready to get it out there, man. So that's just awesome, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I never gave birth, but it, uh, I bet it's pretty much like that. I just, pretty much about to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I appreciate it. And like, like I said, it, it was a a long time coming, um, and it, it was it was a challenge, especially with the success that Smooth Nights, the the mm-hmm. album before it had. Mm-hmm. I had to, you know, you have to kind of show, hey, that was not a fluke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do this for real. Yeah. Um, right, right. So um, it, it was a challenge to have that same quality, but to be able to expand a little bit. So I was right. I was able, able to expand some on this particular album, and you know, the, the next one is be much pretty much more the same. You be diverse. You'll be you know, to, and I know that everything. feeling, JC. When when you finally release it, it's like so much lifted off you. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like <laughs> it is. It's just like such a. It's like you breathe like. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> you know, this, that feeling is worth it all, man. Just to get yeah. to the end of that and just like okay, mm-hmm. breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, exhale, it's, it's a exhale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you. <laughs> it's labor intensive. It's really labor intensive. The, the pressure. The pressure. It just seemed like it was a lot on you. When you, the closer you get to to release date, and then you, you're doing all your mastering, because I, I mix and master everything. Mm-hmm. So wow. you're doing all that, and you, you're doing the remasters and the retakes, and man, that's a lot on you. And you, you got this deadline. That you set the deadline, but you still want to make the <laughs> deadline. Yeah. Right, right. So, um, <laughs> you, you, got, and you got people that you promise, hey, it's going to be out at this time. And then you don't want to come back and say, well, I, I need a few more weeks to finish this up. You got to you got to meet your deadline. So that was a lot of pressure to do, and I'm glad I was able to do it with plenty of time to spare to be able to market it. You know, get on shows like like GHP, mm-hmm. Indie Live Spot, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, talk about it before the re- release date. Yeah. So it's, it's not right. even released yet, and uh, looking forward to it actually being out to the world to hear. Awesome. So thank you for having me on, for real. Oh yeah, thank absolutely. You. Thank you for man. being here. Yeah. Yeah, but you know we've been looking forward to this, bro. It's you know, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. family here, bro. You know, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah, uh, yeah. for you. No. Thank you, thank you. It's a great success. It will be. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Definitely. All right. Well, you know, I want to uh, bring up one more thing for you, go, Gary. Yeah. That, um, uh, uh, to everybody that um, I'm really looking forward. To, I'm finally going to meet them in person, JC. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Vaughn and and Char and. And, and Gary, get to see the good hair boy, good hair in person. Uh, and I'm going to take a, lots of pictures, JC, don't worry. Uh, but I, to, uh, <laughs> I can't wait to uh, meet with you guys at the, at the TEG Jazz Festival. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. yeah, man. I am so excited. I can't wait to get oh, there. Oh, I know it. It's going to be fun. Uh, can you tell them the magnitude of this thing? Uh, where we're going to be? We're going to be on stage or yeah. it's going to be a live show? Did you tell them the... Uh, basically, so that, Gary? Yeah, basically, uh, we're 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 invited again this year to to broadcast the um, the TEG International Jazz Fest in Tulsa that they do every year. Uh, it's a yeah. uh, known thing that they do uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, every year. And uh, in fact, last year was our first time being there to broadcast it. You know, I've I've been to the uh, festival. Uh, this will be my third time going, but the first time I went, we just went as spectators to watch and support. And uh, and then uh, the second time we went, which was last year, uh, uh, he and um, and I got to send a special shout out to uh, John Taylor of uh, of uh, Taylor Entertainment Group. He's the, he's the one that puts this thing on every year, and it's uh, sponsored by uh, Spirit Bank. So it's a uh, a free outdoor concert uh, festival um, there in the heart of uh, Tulsa downtown in the Greenwood district area and uh, 
it's just it's just a joy. Everybody comes out, bring their chair, lawn chairs, blankets, and everything, and they just kind of. Tony Exum's gonna be there. Yeah, Tony Exum's gonna be yeah. one of the artists. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, and then, um, actually, I think he's actually the main the main feature. He's the main, he's headlining, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Nice. And then they have like two or three other artists. I think one is a, a xylophonist uh, player. Yes. Uh, and then there's a, a sax, uh, another saxophone uh, female artist uh, that will be there as well. And I've seen okay. her before. I can't, I don't have the name in front of me right now, but uh, but she's excellent as well. And. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a great time, and they'll have all the oh, food, all, the, all the food vendors mm -hmm. and everything. It's going to be great. But yeah, we're we're going to be there, GHP Radio. We're going to be up uh, broadcasting it actually live on GHPRadio.com. Uh, so uh, for those of you, if you're interested in being it, you're not going to be able to be there. You can actually hear it live, uh, the whole thing live. Uh, it's a four-hour event, uh, so. We'll definitely put that information out there for you, so when that time comes, uh, you definitely can log on to GHP Radio and, yep. and hear the whole festival. Uh, it's going to be awesome, and uh, we'll be. Yeah. There. It's, I think there's going to be a lot of surprises. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Just never. Be laughing over your family. Right. Mm -hmm. JC, yeah. you family need to come on down to Tulsa. Yeah, it's going to be in June. I would love to do it. It's uh, June the uh, June the seventh, which is on a Friday, and. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have fun. Yeah, that's. I remember uh, seeing seeing the uh, video. George George turned it out there last. Yeah, Joyce was, was a performer. Yeah, there yeah she, one year. she showed out, man. Yes, she nice. did. I, I, out there and playing in the crowd. Uh huh. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yes, Walking did. around the crowd, man. She, she did good. She turned it out. Yes, she did. So. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Horn drive by territory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Farm players, nice. players took over that shit. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect by, by territory. Yeah. That's why that's up. why I'm I'm glad I, I I purchased a wireless system for my guitars and my guitar. So mm -hmm. I yeah. can do that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know how to do what they do. Right. You never know what's gonna pop up there. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, definitely be looking out for that. It's gonna be a, uh, Real. a nice fun time. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna see see CTK in person. He gonna be gonna show up in the house. Oh, no, <laughs> Bring all that all that energy. All that energy, uh, right? Don't this look, look like a rifle? <laughs> <laughs> the horn drive by. Horn drive. There's a fan right over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, okay. Well, I guess we'll wrap things up. And uh, again, JC, man, it was a pleasure to have you on, brother. Anytime thank you want to come back, yeah. you always let us know. Uh, uh, thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you for thank you for having me on, mm -hmm. on GHP, Any Live Spot. And I want to thank all my family and friends that showed up mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and entered into the chart, chat today. It's great to have that support, and I appreciate everyone out there and all the musicians and, and, and everybody in the chat room today. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. And uh, looking forward to this album going out there and uh, seeing what it'll do. Yes, sir. Extreme pleasure, JC. Thanks for coming, man. Yes, we sir. totally appreciate you, bro, and what you do. Yeah. I'm a big fan. You know, I was a fan from day one, so I ain't stopping. Mm -hmm. Appreciate mm -hmm. you. Yep. And I'm a new fan, so I'm glad to have met you and know about your music, my brother. And Man, just awesome, and I already know it's going to be successful. Mm -hmm. So looking forward to the next event, man. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Keep it going. That's all right. right. Well, we'll see all of you next week. I believe uh, next week uh, we're going to have Mr. Uh, let's see. Who do we have? Oh, yes. Uh, we have, uh, is it Will Ready? Not Will Ready. Uh that's the same. I, I got so many artists in my brain, and I got <laughs> so many. Okay. Yeah, so That's many awesome. people. Hey, Will, Will, he's, up. A, he's a Southern Soul guy, ain't he? Yeah, Southern Soul. Yeah, Will he's, Ready? he's got. In fact, yeah, I think he's got this this new track. I mean, this new album he's did. It's definitely uh, Southern Soul. Uh, he's got. He's yeah, got, he, he, he did it so because he does like, Southern Soul, and then he does R and B stuff too, and does different deals. Yeah. But uh, cool. but I think this project uh, is focused on the uh, Southern Soul, so it's going to be pretty good to have him uh, come yep. on. Will be and um, check it out. Yeah. So 
but we'll definitely put that information out for everybody and i want everybody to enjoy the rest of your weekend be safe out there and enjoy it uh, wherever you are and again thanks jc Thanks. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thanks, uh, CTK and Shar. Y'all enjoy the rest of your weekend as too. And shout out to Vaughn. I hope you, hope the, the the jazz conference is going okay for you, brother. We'll see you next week. <laughs> That's right. All right. All right. We Have out. We are out. Better go, Jason. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> going to bring it back home. <laughs> <laughs>